cars should do it outside right now. Right. Although if we have any more beautiful, beautiful days, I don't feel free. Yeah. So I cinched this up. Hey. Just short enough so you can lie down. So see, it's pretty short. Yeah. I hold this in my hand just because you don't want him to run out and get loose from you. And then I wait for him to go into a down. This usually just takes him on, his own, on his own without saying yes. It's another one of those pesky you can't talk to your dog exercises. <laughs> Notice I just ignore him. He doesn't really do anything like puppies, like some puppies will cry at you, or puppies will try to yeah. crawl up on your lap. I, mean, I, think, I think the worst thing he's going to do is bark at any squirrels or birds he sees up there. And if he does that, I just ignore it. I let him so <laughs> If he does that, I put my <laughs> There we go. So I'm not going to make you guys sit here for 30 seconds. I mean, 30 minutes. He but this would, he is my life. Stay there though. Probably if you did that and yep. walked outside, yep. you're, you're sitting on that on a chair. You've got underneath you, so it's bracing. Yeah. And if you ignore him, he will just eventually lay down. I, I noticed you've done that before. Yeah. And yeah. we keep talking and excited. Like, yeah, well, say that I this is around. so that he ignores those distractions. Yeah. Right. That's exactly yeah. what it's for. And then 30 minutes starts after he goes down. So he doesn't have to be down the entire time because obviously you'd be resetting the clock. Yeah. Yeah, you never get on yeah. the chair. Yeah. <laughs> so just 30 minutes, he can go up and down. And at the end, I want him to be down again. So if I get to 30 minutes or 31 minutes because he took a minute to get down and he's up, then I wait for him to go down again. So when he goes down again, I'll tell him, okay, and I'll switch butts with one of you. <laughs> He's such a sweetie. My leash actually might not be short enough, but I think I'm playing right. I really want to move him for 
assuming. But it's okay to do the, the treats and the toys. There we go. Let's see how long that took. It was a minute 30. Good like that with you and you at home. You want three pet, you want three pet. Yeah. In, in, in the whole house, wherever she stands up and goes, yeah. big house, like 4,000 square feet, where yeah. follows her around, and wherever she ends up, he usually sits right next to her. And then the squirrel comes. And then the squirrel comes. Yeah, that's why this would be good to do in front of like a window. And then if he's barking at the squirrel, you really don't want to engage him though. You just want to let him chill himself out. I don't understand that. So when we get used to things, like he's been around the dogs and everything, and they start to go down more and more, they'll they'll eventually get sick of the barking because it's not getting them anywhere. Okay. Kind of like a baby, they say to like leave a baby crying. Right. Yeah. Crying. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, you call me before you have any kids. Okay. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> Wait, I'm the father, you call me. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'll let you know how that goes, okay? <laughs> and you, you just sit there. There you go. He's a good boy. He's a very good boy. He's very sweet. He likes all the dogs. Lord, do we have this really obnoxious Aussie puppy that comes here? Oh. He loves them. What do they look like? Awesome. Uh, see, they're uh, Australian Shepherd? Huh? Australian Shepherd? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You know those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like to take charge. Huh? They like to take charge. Yes, that's exactly the problem. They're a huge family. Is that one? That's a Pomeranian. Yeah. 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 That's a Australian Cowboy or Sheepdog or something. Also breeds dogs. Yeah. Farm dogs they have. All the farm dogs are great. Pretty much. That may be the Rottweiler, but even they have their moments. How do you how do you train a dog? My one of my son's dogs has always been fine. Trained just with everything he says, any command he says. He never has to stay on leash by his son. Yeah. He gets in the car and, and he's been fine since he's little driving the car. Yeah. And now he's got this fear. He's like something happens. He like shakes all the time. He's like yeah. he like drool and shakes. He's afraid to be in the car. What would cause that? And you get tired of Well, I mean, like something traumatic. Yeah. Like, 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 like uh, if the car backfired one day, or yeah. you know, something like that, something like scary happening at the outside. Or if you had to swerve real fast and, and like. Yeah. Um, but how do you how do you fix that? Because it is. Yeah, actually, you have to kind of practice some of these things in the car. Yeah. As funny as that sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody to put him through if you know any tricks you can put him through them, feed him. Food helps calm them down yeah. if they're food motivated. You know? He, he, he they're doesn't, not food he is motivated. so nervous and when you see it that you can't even pass him. He looks at unless it's something like a piece of stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, that, that, then I just give it affection. So if I have a dog that's not going to take food, I'll try to give them affection. Yeah. You know, so like, good boy, you know, if he likes certain pats on the pat And that's what he wants. Like, the reason we want to get in your lap. And that's what she's seen. He's 70 pounds. And he's like, he's like, like a little baby girl. Oh, he's looking for comfort, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but you have to be careful. You don't want to do what I want, call coddling. So coddling is when you're seeking to give a dog comfort, but, but it's having the exact opposite of what you want. Yeah. Yeah. They won't learn from that. So you gotta, you gotta be careful. Like I have a funny story. My dog Jazz was afraid of thunderstorms. She was my first dog, and it wasn't true. And uh, so I, you know, I would start sleeping on the floor with her when she was scared, and she went in the closet. So I'd actually sleep in the closet with her, and it just getting worse and worse and yeah. worse. And then at the end of her life, I was working, uh, I was volunteering at Dover the Master Limited. That's where I learned my training. And they said, just leave, leave her alone, you know, just go do your thing when a thunderstorm happens. And sure enough, she started coming out, finding me, walking with me. Instead of following. Right. Yeah. And I knew it was having a wrong effect. I just couldn't figure out what to do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sometimes they learn on their own. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, that was me learning. Yeah. <laughs> you so much more. Dogs are good to birth people a lot. <laughs> so you can tell Seymour yes. Yes. And then you can let him up. Oh, and boy. Boy, you're very serious. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Oops of fire. <laughs> yeah.